All right, everybody, welcome to another broadcast of Monica at Home. My name is Alexandra, but I am better known by my stage name, Monica Foster, from, of course, my official website, www.monicaf.com, but probably mainly from the website that I made specifically for this series of broadcasts, www.monicaathome.com. Now, um, normally I discuss adult industry news, events that are going on, and we'll discuss a little bit of that today. But um, today I decided that it's time to amp up this war against the illegal and criminal activity in the Los Angeles porn industry because whatever happens in the Los Angeles porn industry, and I'm sure for those of you who watch the news and whatnot, you, you're starting to see this trend. Actually, I follow this trend on my news blog, www.pornnewstoday.com. Whatever seems to start in the porn industry does trickle down into mainstream media, and it winds up just affecting our society as a whole. And being that that's the case, we do have to clean up the adult entertainment arena, not just the porn industry, um, in my opinion, the illegal escorting, that just has to be stopped. It's something that I'm actually very knowledge, knowledgeable about because it's something that I was a part of not too long ago. Um, it, it's just time to clean everything up because um, if we don't, our society is going to continue on a downward spiral and it won't be a good future for not just us, you know, most of you watching I'm sure are young people, but also our children, not just our children, I don't have any, but other people's children. People have to grow up in this world, and right now this world is just becoming increasingly, increasingly corrupt. Um, just earlier today on my news blog, PornNewsToday.com, I posted a story in regards to a high school prom being held in the same venue in South Florida as a porn convention. A lot of people say it's a coincidence. It's no coincidence. These things are pre-planned, and it's unacceptable. There is an epidemic right now in our country of porn addiction. Pornography is the current psychological drug. It is designed to control our actions, our thoughts, our um, decisions in life, how we relate to one another. The reason that porn has become such a freely accessible um, media, in my opinion, is because it's meant to change our perspectives and it's not a good thing because the porn that's being produced it's so detrimental, it's so degrading, not just to women, but to men, to young people, to just how we are. So, like I said, I was thinking earlier today, this morning, and um, I was thinking back to last year and um, a lot of the turmoil that I and my family went through. And some of the people who facilitated a lot of that negativity that almost brought me to suicide I'm sure some other people too. Actually, I do speculate if it did bring certain people who were in the porn industry to suicide. And I am, of course, referring to that porn WikiLeaks project. I was thinking about how certain people who were attached to that project are still not only working in porn, but they're accepted by their peers in the Los Angeles porn industry. And I was thinking to myself, how can this be? How can it be that somebody who facilitated and enabled somebody to harass and stalk and terrorize um, a multitude of people, how can it be that these people who were helping with this are still accepted in that industry? Then I thought to myself, why am I even questioning this? It's all about money. And what money exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about the money that is actually the lifeline for the entire Los Angeles porn industry. And that lifeline is illegal prostitution and escorting. There are some people who did assist with that porn WikiLeaks venture. And I'm going to name one of the people who it is because Mike South over at MikeSouth.com did outline this on his blog. 
Michael Fatorossi. I thought to myself, why is Michael Fatorossi still being accepted in the porn circles? Well, I think the reason is that he might be attached to some illegal escorting rings. Do I know this for sure? No. But I think it's possible. Why? Because he's dating a young woman, or actually she's not young anymore, but he's dating a woman by the name of Vanessa Blue. Now, do I know for certain that Vanessa Blue is attached to any illegal escort rings? No, but I will tell you that when I was an active porn talent and I shot with her, she asked me not once, but three times if I was escorting. When I shot with her that day of the shoot in the apartment that we shot at. Now, she could have just been asking because she was curious. I don't know. I don't know why she would be curious. But being that I was thinking about that today, and being that I have come to realize that it is the illegal prostitution and escorting that funds the Los Angeles porn industry for the most part, I think it's time to stop it. Because it shouldn't be happening. If you want to be an escort or a prostitute, my suggestion is that you go to a country where you can do it legally, or you go to Nevada, there is a certain county of Nevada close to Las Vegas of which prostitution is legal. But if you are involved with anybody that is booking you with clients outside of these legal countries where it's acceptable to be a prostitute or outside of that certain county in Nevada where it's legal, then unfortunately, I will have to start tracking you along with a group of people that I'm working with on a upcoming website. Right now it's only a blog. The blog is entitled pornstarhookerwatch.blogspot.com and I will put that in the chat room. Again, pornstarhookerwatch.blogspot.com Now, if you go to that website, you will see um, a bit of a foreword or a letter of which I decided to basically send out to the readers out there to check it out. Um, because I'm not against the porn industry. I'm not against adult entertainment. I would be a hypocrite if I was. I'm still a webcam girl. Um, I'm obviously still a nude model on occasion. I run an adult industry news blog, PornNewsToday.com. I've written a book about the porn industry, which is Getting Into Porn, The Handbook. It's available on Amazon.com. But um, I'm just, I, I can no longer turn a blind eye to the suffering that many adult entertainers are subjecting them to, themselves to. It's, it's suffering, it's um, abuse on many occasions. It's just so many things that might drive a person into the world of illegal prostitution and escorting, and that keeps them there. A lot of times the pimps, you know, they threaten people. They're like, hey, you know, um, if you stop escorting, then we're gonna out you. We're gonna tell your family. We're gonna um, make it very difficult for you to find a job. And you know what? Hey, when you leave porn, if you work in porn, you still face those challenges. But the fact is that prostitution outside of the locales that I went over earlier, it's not legal. Um, there are people who are making millions of dollars a year off the backs of these porn stars and even people who are not porn stars who are a part of these illegal prostitution and escorting rings. And it has to stop. They shouldn't be making this money because they're funneling that money into ventures which are detrimental to us as individuals and to our society and to our planet as a whole. So please go to that website that I did tell you about. It's http colon forward slash forward slash pornstarhookerwatch.blogspot.com. And I will be focusing on quite a few of the accesses, or what I view at least of the, as the accesses of evil, which is the illegal prostitution and escorting. Um, there's quite a few agencies. There's 
you know, a lot of them, I mean, they advertise publicly, so I don't see why anyone would have a problem with this website that I'm putting together. But if you are a porn star who's working with any of the known escort agencies out there, I strongly suggest that you cut your ties from them right now because you will be on the radar. Um, luckily, I have partnered with a friend of mine who runs PornInTheValley.com and FoxMediaGroup.com, Miss Desi Fox. She fortunately has some connections with some law enforcement entities. And we do hope that PornStarHookerWatch.blogspot.com and the website, which will be launched from that blog, will wind up being a bit of a resource for law enforcement to crack down on a lot of this illegal prostitution and escorting that's going on. Because um, I do believe that the Los Angeles porn industry can be a safe and professional and viable workplace, but as of current, it cannot be when you have so many people that are attached to the criminal activity also working in trade organizations such as the Free Speech Coalition or just attached to the Free Speech Coalition and many of the other groups that claim to want to progress the adult entertainment industry, but in actuality are only stifling it. So, um, I guess that's really all I have to say um, in regards to this issue today. I will post this broadcast on my YouTube, which is youtube.com Monica forward slash Monica at home, and of course on my various websites. I suppose you could say that this is my declaration of war against the people who are facilitating the illegal and criminal activity within the Los Angeles porn industry. I really didn't want to have to be somebody who's leading this war, but I feel like I've been left with no choice. Being that I'm somebody who is a recent porn star, I consider myself an ex-porn star at this phase, and somebody who has been involved in the escort market, I know what I'm talking about. And I do feel that I know how to help bring this problem to an end. So uh, I'm going to stick around to answer questions and comments. There's some people in the chat room who say that they can't hear or see me. Surprise, surprise. But that's okay. I'm going to stick around for questions and comments now. And feel free to email me through www.monicahome.com. And um, if you're somebody who does not like what I'm starting, then tough shit. Have a great night. Bye-bye.